This is an installation and a quick overview of AIO Contact. Let's proceed with installation of the plugin. Click on Add New Under Plugins, and then click on Upload Plugin. Just make sure that you download installable WordPress file from Code Canyon and not all files and documentation. Choose the zip file and hit Install Now. Click on Activate Plugin. After that you will see a new menu item called AIO Contact, just click on that. Now, you can either start from scratch or import the sample ready to go items. We will use the sample for this tutorial. You can directly add a single link to an item. Let's do that in WhatsApp. You can also add multiple agents to the items, if you have employees, maybe in different time zones to cater to different customer across the globe. You can also add the availability of agents so the end user can connect to someone who is active. The time for availability is in 24 hours so 6 pm is actually 1800 hours. You can also set the time zone of the agent so AIO contact can calculate the correct availability of the agent and then show it to your end user. I added John which is available right now so, let me add one more which is not available at this moment so we can make sure it works properly. Moment of truth, let's test it now. Cool. It's working. Now, let's try to put a contact form 7. Just make sure you have contact form 7 plugin installed and at least one contact form in it. Since I don't have it, let me go ahead and install contact form 7 and configure a form for callback request. Alright, let's get back to AIO contact and now try to add contact form 7. Great, so I was able to add a form successfully. Now, let's test this out. Perfectly working. Let's proceed to the last item type which is the shortcode. I'm going to use the post shortcode from a popular plugin shortcodes ultimate. Similar to other items, give it a name, icon and color. Let's go to the site to see how it looks. Cool. Everything is working smoothly. In case if you're struggling with installation or facing any problem you can contact support at the link given in the description below. Check out other tutorial videos below for AIO contact.